Well, it's a glorious day today. A good day for retracing my steps once again. As one does. But, I'm happy to do so, since I have a beacon burning a hole in my backpack. Hello, Fox. Uh, you know, it's really... Sorry, who's this? Trouble, looks like. Well. Nice kills. I'm just going to uh, give him a wide berth because I have a feeling that he would probably be able to go through my armor just as easily as he managed to get through those saber cat pelts. And this armor is very heavy. <laughs> uh. Uh, it's also very, uh, it's a little bit too warm to be wearing with the sun beating down on my head like this. Black hood, black hair, I'd rather let my face breathe, thanks. Between the two options, you know. Uh, right, which way are we going? Me, I, which way am I going? That way. There's a castle up on that hill. Knowing how castles generally tend to be occupied by, um... Let's see, uh... Right, this way. Oh. I couldn't watch the storm cloaks tearing everything apart and not do something. Uh, the Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. <laughs> if you think you've got what it takes, my headquarters is in solitude. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Join up with the Legion. Must be the armor. I signed on because I couldn't watch the storm cloaks tearing everything apart. <laughs> uh. Delightful. Yeah, I'm not exactly a, a strong, capable warrior yet. Although, given my propensity for running s running face first into danger, I might become more capable as time goes on. I'm certainly better with a sword than I was when I got here. Well, sort of. Ah, yes, it's a wonderful day out. I, it, it's got that, that ever-present chill in the air that Skyrim doesn't seem to ever let go of. But, oh, look, there's that giant again. Okay, we will steer clear of him. And there's the giant mud crab. Hello, giant mud crab. And smaller mud crabs. Was I talking about something about uh, not being that capable of a warrior? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure compared to any of the uh, actually trained legionnaires, I would be pathetic, but. Yeah, one never knows. Oh, look. Somebody else put a new shield on this thing. Hmm. I'm sure there's some local folklore about that monument somewhere, but I've not actually heard anything about it. Sadly. Oh, look. There's... It's... Oh, it's, it's, it's boggling to me how you can just look at a hill in Skyrim and half the time you'll end up seeing some old Nordic or something, some encampment or, or memorial or something sticking out of the round, even from so far away. It's like, oh, let's go over that hill there. Look, it's a barrow! I don't know. <laughs> it's a... Uh... Hello, wolf. I'm gonna leave you alone. It's a... Uh... I would say it's an archaeologist's dream. You stay over there, puppy. The, the, yeah. I'd say it's an archaeologist's dream, but since I'm more versed in alien whatnot, 
Yeah. I would rather... I think I'd rather go to High Rock, actually, if I was going to go for a... strictly... archaeological reasons. Although... The joke is that everybody wants to invade Cyrodiil, right? <laughs> Alright, well, there's Rorik's dead. You know, it's it's actually quite... Um... It's a little lonely on the road without a dog barking at me every five seconds. I hate to say it, but I'm actually kind of starting to miss Barbas. I do have quite bad luck with dogs, don't I? They either end up dying or being Daedric. Daedric dogs. Yeah, that. Good morning. Yeah, kids. Morning. You like me, eh? Don't fancy those clunky two-handed weapons. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm coordinated enough. We're gonna get it, Sizzle. Kids don't really stop to say hello to anybody. Hello. Everything all right? Yep, everything's fine. Oh well. I suppose I can't expect them to. I am rather obviously not from around here. Don't talk to strangers and all that. I'm about as strange as they come. If you're just judging me purely by my face. Anyway. Uh, wolf head. <sighs> a few days ago, we came through here and cleared out a whole bunch of bandits. Hopefully. Hopefully those those wolves are here picking at the remains and not wanting to have anything to do with me. Because that would be unfortunate for them. And possibly for me. Although... Uh... At least they're just wolves. Could be worse. Could be werewolves. Although I don't know if Skyrim gets them. Werewolves. I haven't seen any though. The, the, the. I haven't seen any thus far. Yeah, that. Um. Hello, sir. Ah. I'm amazed he's not more picked over. And by that I mean armor and whatnot. Usually, by by my understanding, usually brigands will come through and find anybody who's been killed and take their armor and whatnot. But eh. I guess he's, uh, off-limits for some reason? I don't know. I don't know a damn thing about bandits, frankly. Given that I'm not one. Okay, uh, right. So I remember this waterfall. I remember getting ambushed by wolves. At least I think so. Oh, I don't remember seeing these pillars here before. Well, fallen pillars, whatever the heck they are. But I'm making note of them as we speak, in my head. I'll probably write it down later. There must have been quite a number of structures around here, actually. And by here I mean Skyrim in general. Just given the amount of- the sheer amount of ruins everywhere. I would have loved to see Skyrim back in the days when everything was actually still- Hello? Ye- Um, that's suspicious. Okay. Yeah, let's just get some distance on him. This armor really is heavy. <laughs> I cannot sprint for that long. I mean, I can't really sprint for that long anyway, I'm just... I'm not built for sprinting. I'm more of a marathon runner. You know, long distance. Long distance and slowly, uh, relatively speaking. I don't think I'd be cut out to be a courier, something like that. Okay, um, hold on. Tundra cotton. I've heard that makes good tinder, so I'm going to pick some up. It's one of the very few plants I actually know how to uh, ID. Sitting on the side of the road. There's a saber cat. 
Okay, well, oh boy, who's this? Hopefully not an Imperial informant or something, because that would be weird. Good morning. I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura, the Goddess of Twilight. If what? you'll excuse me. Oh. I'd heard there was a shrine here. And by here I mean Skyrim, obviously. Um, I'd heard there was a shrine of Azura. Hello, signpost. I heard there was a shrine of Azura. I have no idea where it is. But I've heard that you- there's a pillar over there. I've heard that you can see it from a, a- a well distance away, just miles and miles away. So given the fact that I haven't actually seen it yet, I'm- it's either hyperbole that it's actually that big, or it's somewhere that I haven't actually been yet. Which would not surprise me, given that I've only been up and down this road so far. Oh, what happened here? Well, not good things, undoubtedly. Hello, Red Guard. You lot are a long way from home, aren't you? Huh. I wonder what happened to this wagon. Besides, you know, probably bandits. Um, maybe not? Bandits. Hello? That's not any kind of arrow I've ever seen before. Um, and not one that I would expect bandits to be using. Uh, yeah. I certainly have the feeling. Yeah, there's loot here. I don't think... I don't think bandits did this. And now I feel like I'm being watched by something that wants to shoot me in the back. Uh, let's be gone before something does decide to shoot me in the back. Oh, there is. There's a waterfall under this bridge. I'm sitting here going, oh hey, I wonder where the waterfall is. It's, it's right below me. You'd think I'd be more aware of my surroundings than that, but I'm not, usually. Okay, uh... I'm still a bit off balance from having that Imperial follow me. And by Imperial I mean Legionnaire. Imperial Scout. Why would he be scouting me? I wonder if it has something to do with the fact that I'm basically a solitary mage at this point. Well, that's gorgeous. Okay. Alternatively, I spooked him because he wasn't expecting me to turn around. He was heading up here to the, the wood. I think this is a Penitus Arculatus headquarters, actually. I might be wrong, but... Ah, uh, let's see, do I need... Do I need supplies? Uh... No. I think I'll be alright, I'm just heading up the road anyway. If I do need supplies, I can always... Come back down here, or yes. go up... What? Sorry. I was talking to myself and I got distracted. I can always head up to Solitude, which I might have to anyway, just to get some of this armor refitted properly. And hopefully the Legionnaires don't take too much interest in me. I'm not really cut out to be a proper battle mage, I don't think. I suppose I could, but I... I'm not really one for the rigors of... of military life. I wonder who that is. Uh, hello? Excuse me? Uh, what, what, hello? Uh, wait, excuse me? There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. Oh, I see. Uh, where are you headed? I probably shouldn't tell everyone who asks. This is important business, you know. I uh, got it. I understand. Uh, 
Thanks for wasting my time. You're welcome. Sorry. I'll just leave you to your business then. Okay then. Uh, well. <laughs> yeah, see, this is why I don't talk to people. Look at my ah. temple lying in ruins. So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. Meridia! If they love me not, how can my love reach them? Meridia, you really got to warn me before you do that. Ye gods. <sighs> you know, one of these days, you're going to be the death of me. 